Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here again. Today I wanna to go over how to start a podcast. And if you do any type of marketing, your business is online or even in person, it's a great idea to start a podcast right now. Now podcasts are like the new blogs. There's a billions and billions of blogs out there, but there's only about 600,000 podcasts out there. So this is a great opportunity to start building your brand, getting your name out there, and getting your customers to listen to you on a consistent basis. Now I have my podcast, Relationship Marketing, to help my current cl clients and any potential clients with learning how to create real relationships online. So by having a podcast, that's creating a real relationship. People can hear you, uh, you can help them, and you can continue providing value to them so they not only are learning from you, but they're able to implement whatever strategies that you're offering them. So today, I'm teaching you how to start a podcast. I started a podcast last year, and it's been very beneficial for us and our business. We have almost 200 episodes now, and it's really helping us get more clients, get the name out, but most importantly, help you and help more people. So tip number one, start using anchor.fm. It's a free broadcasting tool where you can upload your audio. As an example, when I'm done with this podcast um, and video, I'm gonna download the audio and I'm gonna upload it to anchor.fm and then Anchor would distribute it to all the different networks out there like uh, Spotify, Apple, Google, Android, and it'll just get my name out there, get my podcast out there, so I don't have to go upload them to every single network. Um, and just sign up on anchor.fm. All right, so now tip number two is get a good mic. Now I have a Tasca mic that I ordered from Amazon a long time ago. Um, but just go to Amazon, spend the money, get a good mic that's gonna help uh, get your voice clear so when people are listening, they don't wanna shut you off. Now, when I first started, I was doing it on my phone. And when I would go back and listen to it, it irritated me just because the audio quality wasn't up to par. So make sure you, if you're investing your time into starting a podcast, invest some money into the uh, mic so you can have a clear sounding voice and people will wanna continue listening to you. All right, number three, most important, that our podcast is called Relationship Marketing. We believe creating relationships online is the most important thing. Last year I did an interview series where I interviewed people for my podcast. I interviewed over 100 different owners out there. Now what this was able, this was able to do was create better relationships with those owners I was able to provide them value, and then they would go share it on their network so their audience would tune into my podcast. So go out there, create relationships with people in your niche or in your field, interview them, talk to them, get them on your podcast, or just feature them. That's all you really need to do is feature them. And that's when you're gonna get their audience to start seeing you and start growing your audience and building up your podcast. Now, I wanna invite you guys to check out automationlinks.com. We build websites for podcasts. So if you really wanna get your name out there, go to our site, fill out the form to get started, um, tell us that you want more information, and we'll get started on setting up a podcast website for you. So now you're able to have your podcast out on all the iTunes and Spotify's, but also you'll be able to get Google rankings and Google traffic. Google is now starting to rank your podcast in the search engine, so make sure you get a website for your podcast, get ranked, and get more clients. So thanks again for listening, I appreciate it, and make sure you comment or message me relationship, and I'll send you my entire relationship marketing framework for free. So thanks again, and I hope you have a great day.